Hi guys, Tony here. Today I wanted to run you through my top longevity supplements. You know, when times are tough, if you're financially going through a hard time, then uh, it's great to know what things are really the most effective in your stack so you can kind of uh, downsize. I liked, I used to come from an engineering background, so it's called value engineering, working out the things that make the biggest difference and just keeping them and cutting out the things that help but maybe on as cost effective. And quite rightly so, people think that health can be an expensive pursuit, you know, doing it through supplements, because yes, they can add up. The cost can escalate if you're not savvy about what you buy and where you buy it from. Nice, I guess I take pills like four times a day, five times a day. And yes, there is a lot of income inequality in this world, say, and then that translates into life expectancy. In the UK, your life expectancy, it can vary depending where you live, up to nearly 30 years. The point is the life expectancy gap doesn't have to be as big as what it is if the information was out there because I'm gonna show you the supplements I'm recommending. It adds up to very little. Yes, there is lifestyle aspects that make a big difference that I can't account for, like say stress. And my prediction is the life expectancy gap is only gonna get bigger. And if you look, life expectancy has actually been going down in the last couple of years in the West. And my prediction is the next few decades, the, the life expectancy of the super rich is going to grow. So with that gap getting bigger, it won't be quite as exaggerated, say with that film In Time with Justin Timberlake, where people remained 25 forever, and time was basically a commodity, it replaced money. But still, it's gonna be way more noticeable the way people look and feel as they get older, depending on how rich you are. So these are my favorite six longevity supplements that give you great bang for buck. It's always worth thinking about. You never know what kind of expense is around the corner. Even with these six supplements that I'm recommending, I'll still be pretty optimistic about my general health span and longevity. So these are my top six supplements. So you've got Glynac, which is glycine and NAC. And you might say, well, why is glycine not on the list? Because collagen is 30% glycine. So you're killing two birds with one stone you've got the rejuvenating properties of collagen for your skin, hair, nails. If you look, the total amount is £12.66 a month. I do get good deals because I work in the longevity space. So the combination of glycine and NAC, it helps with glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, insulin resistance, and uh, a lot of those 12 hallmarks of aging. Another great one is taurine. There's been a lot of hype about that because it uh, boosts mice lifespan between 10 and 12%. In humans, that translates to seven to eight years. Obviously, we're not mice, but it definitely has a positive effect. It's a great free radical scavenger. So when you exercise, you generate a lot of free radicals then. That's why I have it fasted. It can boost fat metabolism by 16%. It can lower your fasting blood glucose levels. It can help with liver damage, bone mineral density, the immune system, calming your central nervous system. One of those things you don't necessarily want to over supplement. Five grams a day has been shown to be safe. I do it five days a week when I exercise. There is some evidence that you know a high dose of it can increase your triglyceride levels. So it's all about that's finding that sweet spot. So next you've got ZMA, zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. In the soil in the UK, we're particularly depleted in zinc, so zinc deficiency is really common. Same with magnesium, over 50% of the population is magnesium deficient. Another one is berberine, so I take it two days a week. And that's one that really helps with insulin sensitivity. It's something that gets you as you get older. People get more and more resistant to insulin. I'll do it on my days off from exercise because I'm someone, I can't eat less when I'm doing less on my feet. So it's a great way to kind of minimize those blood sugar spikes when you're eating the same amount of food so your muscles aren't able to utilize that extra glucose. And finally, you've got niacin powder. I put a B complex as well because everyone's different. Myself, I would actually go for the B complex, so that would probably add an extra what, two pounds a month onto my thing, so it'd be about 14 pounds 60. But for your average person, if you haven't got the same genetic snips as me, I've got two copies of the MTHFR gene, so the B vitamins I'm much more likely to be deficient in. A lot of people have one copy of it, so it's still, it might be beneficial for a lot of people, but for sure having niacin doing that, what, 50 milligrams, uh, up to even twice a day. 50 milligrams is a safe amount, you won't get the flushing from it, but it can actually really help with boosting NAD levels, and NAD is a really important coenzyme. Deficiency in, in that has been strongly linked to aging. For my own clients, I do pass on some of these supplement savings, so if you're interested in optimizing your health span, then click the link in the pinned comment down below.
But yeah, as I said, for a lot of the population, even having a B-complex, like a methylated one, and because a lot of people can't absorb properly uh, the synthetic forms of vitamin uh, B12 or folate. So that's my longevity stack. If I had to go down to this, heaven forbid, I'd still be pretty damn confident about having an optimized health span and lifespan. Thanks for watching. See you next time.